So this video is gonna be going over this amazing texture sprayer by Graco. I absolutely love it, highly recommend it. From DIYers to professionals, this machine is easy to work with. So right now, it has a long enough hose to reach everywhere I need it to in the bathroom, closets, and master bedroom. Two hoses are gonna be connected to the unit itself. One hose is for the material, second hose is for the compressed air. There is a compressor with a small tank on the unit. This allows the certain different type of PSI to be used when applying texture to the wall. Some textures like a fine orange peel is gonna have a higher pressure going through the gun. And some textures like a knockdown is gonna have a lower key when spraying the right texture onto your wall or ceiling. Next thing, it is plugged into a 110 outlet. So anywhere you go that has a 110, you could control this unit and power it up. These next few steps are gonna go over about how you need to prep the machine and put the material into the machine. So that way you could put the material up on the wall and then create that texture. Here's what the gun looks like. There's different size diameter nozzles that you're gonna be putting onto the gun. The bigger the nozzle, the more material that gets sprayed. The smaller the diameter, the less amount of material is gonna be sprayed. So it all depends on what type of material you're gonna want as a finished product on your wall. Just like in painting, you're gonna to have to prime the line. And that's what I'm doing here right now is just priming the line with simple water and getting it ready for the material. The material I'm gonna be using is Tough Tex and you're gonna add it to a bucket, mix it with some water, and you're gonna look for the consistency of pancake mix. You can't have it too watery, but then again, you can't have it too thick because it's gonna to have to be sent through that hose and then up onto the wall. There is a metal ball on a cable, and that's gonna be used to judge what thickness the material is before putting it into the hopper. Now's the time to put the material into the hopper. Just so you know, from this point on, things are gonna get messy. You're spraying texture on a wall. You're gonna to try to keep it as clean as possible, but I guarantee you, it will never happen. There's gonna get material on the side of the hopper. It's gonna get on the floor. It's gonna get on your clothes. Like I said, you're gonna be spraying it all over the wall. Just be prepared for that. This is a very messy job. Now, from this point on, you are ready to spray a texture onto the wall. I did turn down the volume of the machine and the gun itself, so that way it wasn't so loud for you when you are checking out this video. Just know that you are in a confined area. It's gonna be loud. Since I am doing a knockdown texture, after you spray the texture onto the wall, you're gonna let it set up for a little bit so that way it gets a little bit hard. And then you're gonna come over with this texture knockdown knife and you're gonna lightly just knock down the texture on the wall. And once you prime everything and paint it, it's gonna look great. I hope this video answered some questions you might have about the Graco texture sprayer. Again, it's an amazing product, great tool to have in your arsenal, and it makes texturing walls and ceilings a breeze. Thanks again for watching. Go grab yours today. See you on the next one.